what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Site 21, Margaritaville, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Full hookups, cable TV, all that stuff. It's actually direct TV. Now I remember why I never camp in the south. It's too damn hot. <laughs> I'm just not built for this kind of heat. Campground's actually smaller than I thought. That's my first opinion. Not enough shade. That's my second. Sites are too close together. But we already figured that it was going to be like this. So we're going to go to the island here in Pigeon Forge. And go to the... What pizza place are we going to? Mellow Mushroom. Mellow Mushroom. Alright, let's do this. Hey everybody, if uh, you want an easy 
way to get around down here. This is called, what is this called? The trolley. The trolley. Uh, it's just called the pigeon floors. mass transit. Yeah. So for $3, we can get in there, you little get that right? little wristband, the paper one. And you can ride anywhere in between Gallenberg, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, um, and they run till midnight. So if you're sampling moonshine, this is the best way to travel. What? Let's go. It's hot. When the stars are bright. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in got done at the Shamrock Pub and Grill listening to our buddy Billy Fawner. If you're in the area, make sure you go to the Shamrock Pub and check out Billy. He mostly plays up on the top outside bar. I think we're pretty much done in Gatlinburg for the day. It's extremely hot. Probably about 97. And uh, we're thinking about just going back to the campground and getting in the pool. Yeah. It is hot. Cafe 420, in case you want to get all your herbs and giggles on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it was great seeing Billy. We'll put some we music seen in since from him. 2015. Yep. And he still looks like he's a 20 year old. Yeah. <laughs> the Green Briar in, I guess it's considered Gatlinburg. It is. And. Someone has told us that the Kiefer's are here. Now we only get one life, I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the country said it's all pretty. It's a big long time. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life on the road. Gigantic head. We spent about two hundred dollars in liquor today, maybe three hundred. Got some tea, some Patron. Got three bottles of moonshine in there. Moonshine, 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 moonshine. Oh yeah! This is the pool area. Say hi, Heather. Hi. They're kicking us out. It's ten o'clock. Anyways, it's a hot tub over there. Pool. That will be the bar, that building behind, and that will be a lodge, that barn, when it's open. And there's a fire pit over there. 
But anyways, yeah, we're having a blast. Our camper is up on top of the hill. one thing we totally forgot so I'll put my hat the temperature at the top up here is like 20 degrees colder with a lot of wind and I have a tank top on I'm gonna freeze let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday We're about a quarter of the way up or halfway. How you guys all doing? Hanging in there. <laughs> I don't... Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life on It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. Countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only give one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Ooh. Never seen a vehicle come up here before. Yeah, he's a ranger. Hey, so it's Friday. We have to leave tomorrow. Yep. But we've had some fun, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Met some good people. The couple we met from Florida... We haven't seen you since the day we met you. Uh, so, sorry we didn't get to talk to you anymore. And, um, Rhonda. Rhonda and Scott. And Scott from Rootstown, Ohio. Meet them all the way down here in Tennessee. Uh, great people. Had a blast with them. Lots of good conversations. Of course, the Kiefers were here, too. Not at this campground, but they, uh, they were at the Greenbrier. Yep. Which is also an awesome campground. Beautiful um, there. I would say if you want shade and you want a little more peacefulness, probably go the Greenbrier down here. Um, it is further away from Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Um, but it was it, nice. It is nice. It doesn't have a pool, but it has a nice swimming hole. And it is cold. Yeah, cold, mountain cold, water, cold. baby. It is cold. <laughs> um, but it was nice to go over there and visit. Yep, let's talk about here. Um, let's talk about here. Let's talk about this campground. So, obviously, this campground is not done. It is far from done. Um, 
so I'm just going to get the negatives out right away. And uh, these aren't negatives that, like, we didn't know. We knew about all this. We knew it wasn't done. We knew it was going to be in the sun. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing I didn't realize, like, when we got here, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. The sights are very tight. You have maybe 12 feet. Yeah. But, but in my opinion, sight to sight difference is way more here than Greenbrier. Greenbrier is very tight. Yeah, there were some sites that had there were. a lot of space in between. But yeah, it, anymore they're trying to shove as many people in as they can mm -hmm. in one campground. So you just get to know your neighbors very well. I think what they probably should have done was just waited to open up the campground until the whole place was done. Really, landscaping's not done. Um, the store is very small. Construction. construction construction every day so. every day you hear beep 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 but we knew that <laughs> but we knew it coming and yeah. we still wanted to come so just warning everyone else if you want to come to a completed campground there's a whole nother section like a layer down in the back of the campground and they say it's going to be done in the at the end of august I think so. which will add another i think there's at least 40 sites back there um but if you want to come to a completed campground probably come next year i i think that they said the bar will be completed fall of 2021 yeah i believe we found out they're putting an indoor pool in the lodge so there will be the outdoor pool which is awesome and then an indoor pool but they still have to dig and everything the pool is very cool it's only five foot deep there's a slide and the shallow end is like a beach you kind of just walk in and every night we've been here, we go down and sit in the Adirondack chairs. They are the composite material. And I guess they let you take them in the pool. Now, some of the kids take them clear down and try to swim while they're sitting in them. And it is making the staff upset that, you know, hey, let's just keep them where you can sit and the water comes up to. They only really want you to come in to about your ankles. But it's, it's like a lot. Foot. Yeah. And at that point, you might as well sit on the side of the pool. Um, but <clears throat> the couple of the staff has been nice enough and let us sit where the water comes up to our belly. And that's just wonderful. You can sit there all day long. They have certain days they have DJs, certain days they have live bands. Um, they had karaoke one night. The kids sang. Uh, what they else? They pool games for the kids. Pool games. Yeah. So I think once it's done, it's going to be very nice. Mm -hmm. And once they have... <laughs> okay <laughs> once they have uh the trees here <laughs> grown up you probably will get some more shade yeah we did ha see this big hill behind us here um a bear came over the hill and tried to get into the trash cans that are behind our camper the first night we were here or the night before we got here but we haven't seen any bear activity no oh one thing I will say, and I don't know if it's going to keep up. Apparently, according to the stat, we have these little tiny... Can you and hold actually, this real quick? Yep. I actually... Oops. Oops. Hold, please. Okay. What? Oh, so I think I have video. These well, little... why aren't you on there? Uh, because I can't hold it, John. I, mm. I'm challenged. Bloody Mary's in the morning. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I gotta get my filming arm a rest. Okay. Okay. So there's these little, little teeny tiny like centipede looking things. Uh, yeah. They have been everywhere in our campsite. I think I got video and pictures. We'll pop it in. They're very wow. gross. Anyway. But they're only like on our site. They have them too. I saw oh, them they over do? there. So apparently when they pushed, they knocked out all these trees and pushed the hill up that way. These little bugs. Like centipedes. They live in the trees and apparently they come down the hill and they're looking for shade. Yeah. So they're mostly under your camper or under your wheels. Haven't gotten any in the camper. No, so. I don't think they climb up but, anything. No. Because they don't ever get on the chairs that stay out here all night or anything like that. But our campsite is just, I smash probably 300 a day. It's disgusting. It's pretty gross. Anyway. Side note, Gatlinburg parking. There's a parking deck behind Ripley's Aquarium. There is? Yeah. 
it's eight dollars a day oh yeah probably the cheapest parking garage to park in Gatlinburg. The trolley driver told us if you want to get a parking spot there, you have to get there before 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they After fill After 10 o'clock, it's, it's full. Anyway, There's about playground. Three. They have the laundry facility and bathhouse. On the back of the bathhouse is a dog washing station. Oh, is there? Yeah, I took a picture. You can put it up somewhere. They go. Well, it's Friday night. Last night before we leave. It was fun, Margaritaville. We enjoyed all of it. We will miss this. These sunsets are beautiful here. All right, you guys, until we talk to you again, remember the only thing better than a campfire are the memories you make around it. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. See you guys.